Hello, I'm Lee Jiachung. I am presenting our work on efficient single image super resolution. This is a joint work with Chen Chong, Cheng Jin, and Shang Jiwei. Image super resolution aims to restore a high resolution image with high frequency details from its low resolution observation. The wide usage of high resolution screen on edge devices stimulates a strong demand for efficient SR algorithms, and emerging research, SR Lot, responds to this demand by marrying the lookup table with learning-based SR methods. Firstly, the authors train a deep SR network. Then, the output values of the trained SR network are cached into a lot via traversing all possible LR inputs and saving all corresponding HR outputs. Finally, the HR predictions are obtained by locating LR input pixels and interpolating cached HR values. In this way, expensive computing in the SR network is replaced by cheap memory access, leading to high efficiency. However, due to the exponential growth of lot size as the dimension of indexing entry increases, the authors impose a restriction on the indexing capacity of lot, resulting in the limited receptive field of the SR network to be cached. In this work, we propose to increase the indexing capacity by cooperating multiple lats. The total size of MULOT is linear to its receptive field, yielding a practical method to obtain superior performance. We propose two fundamental ways, complementary indexing and hierarchical indexing, to generalize a single lot to MULOT, whose receptive field can be effectively enlarged by constructing multiple elementary components just like a neural network. By parallelizing and cascading these MULOT blocks, the receptive field and modeling capacity of the MULOT networks increase, while the total size of cached lats grows linearly instead of exponentially. The MULOT network, composed of MULOT blocks, is trained in an end-to-end -end manner. After caching the trained MULOT network, MULOT shares exactly the same structure. The first way we propose to cooperate multiple lats is parallelizing them with complementary indexing. We construct multiple lats with different indexing patterns in parallel, which are carefully designed to complement each other. In practice, the MULOT S block and MULOT D block can be implemented with standard convolutions. As for MULOT Y, we first unfold the input image by extracting local patches with a sliding window. Then, we sample and reshape these Y shape pixels into vectors, which are fed into an asymmetric convolution. The second way we propose is cascading lats with hierarchical indexing. The values in the previous lat serve as the indexes of the following lat. Besides, we devise a lot re-indexing mechanism to integrate the behavior of hierarchical indexing in the learning process of MULOT networks. Precisely, the prediction values of the previous MULOT block are quantized to integers in the forward pass while their gradients are retained as floating point values in the backward pass. In the above ways, MULOT boosts the performance of SR lot significantly, achieving similar or better restoration results as deep neural networks. Besides, MULOT obtains better visual quality than SR lot and comparable quality with A, plus and FSRCNN. As for efficiency, MULOT shows superior performance compared with interpolation methods and SR lot at a similar energy cost. On the other hand, MULOT maintains the clear energy cost advantage over DNN methods, even with their compressed versions. MULOT enables the flexible design of the processing pipeline for low-level vision tasks. Here, we take demosaicing bare patterned images as an example. A straightforward way to apply SR lot is to treat the pixels in the bare pattern as four separate channels. This way suffers from sub-pixel shift, resulting in blurry results. In another solution, at a stride of two, the bare patterned blocks are upsampled into colored patches independently resulting in heavy blocking effect. In contrast, MULOT addresses the above obstacles with a multi-stage and multi-branch structure, achieving similar visual quality as DNN methods but at high efficiency. In summary, MULOT obtains a better performance efficiency trade-off, showing its versatility to serve as a universal caching framework and an efficient solution to avoid deploying heavy DNNs on edge devices. The code and trained models are available on our project page. That's all. Many thanks for your attention.